we know that the Apple Vision Pro is such an amazing piece of technology. The fact that you can move things in your 3D spatial space is otherworldly. However, a lot of people don't know how to use the control panel. And I'm going to talk about that in this video. With the control panel, how do you get there? All you have to do is take your hand, look at it, and you have this circle. Obviously, you know if you pinch the circle, it's going to bring up your menu. We all know how to do that, right? But that's not why we're here. To get to the control panel, you would do the same gesture, but this time, flip your hand. So with that, you have the little control panel that shows the time, the battery percentage, your Wi-Fi, and your volume. So if you're just looking to change the volume, all you got to do is pinch. So you can either raise it, reduce it, or return back to the original state. But same thing, we want to check out the control panel. So let's go ahead and click that. And it brings up this small window for our control panel. So with the control panel, this gives you a brief detail of the status of your, of your Apple Vision Pro and the things that you can do via shortcuts. So you have your Wi-Fi, obviously they're gonna set that up. You have your Bluetooth, to set up all your Bluetooth devices. You also have the beloved AirDrop, that is very important, let's click on that. So we all know that you wanna keep AirDrop on contacts only, because if not, and you have it on everyone for 10 minutes, you might get random D pics. <laughs> gotta be careful. It's happened to me on my iPhone. It's happened to me on this device as well when I was on a plane. People are wild, people are crazy. They just wanna send random D pics to everybody. Be careful of the D pics. <laughs> but yes, make sure that's on contact only, of course. Also, you have airplane mode. So yes, when you use this, this device, you wanna go and keep it on airplane mode. As you can see, it's another way to do the volume as well. You can go ahead and click on that and change, change the volume on the apps and also change it on people as well. So it, get, it goes into a more detail. You have your general sound and you have your apps and people. A little more detail. Let's get out of that. Quick pause. If you like the content so far, go to the like button's house, ring the doorbell, move back three feet, time it just right and run full speed so when the like button opens the door, you Liu can kick him square in the chest. Also, subscribe. Obviously, I was watching Netflix, so that was the current app that I was using, so you can go ahead and, and click on that and it'll start playing Netflix. Obviously, we can't do that via copyright. And also, you have your environments. Let's click on that. So right now, I have Bora Bora as my environment. Let's go ahead and dial that in just so you can see. I love this. One of my favorite parts. So with with the Bora Bora, man, that's so beautiful. Sidetracked a little bit. <laughs> so with Bora Bora or any Apple Vision Pro environment, you can actually change the sound of the environment. Listen to that ambient waves and wind. Bring that down and also you can turn the immersion down as well so that's just another way of doing it versus the the digital crown i prefer the digital crown just because it's just easily accessible versus going through all of these different windows to get to this and also as you can see we can change it from light to dark i actually like the dark it's quite nice but i want to go ahead and change it so let's change it to light so you can see what that looks like Got the sky blue, beautiful palm trees, got the turquoise blue water, got the sand at our feet. Typical Bora Bora, very nice. Obviously, you want to go ahead and look at the mountain in the background. And yes, this is 360 degrees. Top, bottom. It's just like you're sitting on a beach. And also, we have automatic as well. So automatic is linked to your time. So it's 6.48 in the morning here in Indiana. And as the day progresses, so let's say it's like 12 noon, it will become daytime. And once it get to like nighttime around like 7, 8 o'clock p.m., it'll come back to this setting. 
so that's pretty sick so we're just going to leave it on automatic go and dial it back down so as you can see i'm recording my view right we'll get to that in a minute so the mac virtual display so if you have your mac if you have your macbook right here in front of you sometimes the the little connect icon doesn't pop up this is just another way to actually go and and connect to your macbook obviously i don't have my macbook with me hold on one second i'm gonna go get my macbook just to show you all right so we're back in so i had to go and get my macbook just to show you i said i didn't have my macbook but it was just in the other room so i went and got it give you a good demonstration so like i said before sometimes this connect button it won't be on top of your computer it is obviously on, on my computer now but sometimes it won't be there so let's let's get rid of it right simulate that is not there we have the mac virtual display let's click on that and you see that it has my name and it has the macbook pro let's go and click that macbook pro is going to turn black and boom there's our mac virtual display i did a couple videos on this as far as how to, like how this look and what i use it for definitely go and check that out but that's just another way on how to get the mac virtual display if you guys don't have a mac get a mac please get a mac this it makes the vision pro that much better it's quite amazing so the next area that i want to talk about is mirror my view so mirror my view is literally that you can choose the device that is going to mirror the view of your apple vision pro so I can't do this on my MacBook Pro. I can't do it because I'm recording on this. But pretty much, if I, could, if I was to click on this, everything I see with the Apple Vision Pro apps and everything will pop up onto whatever device that you choose. In this case, my MacBook Pro. So that's the mirror of my view. Next thing I want to talk about is guest users. So guest users, so obviously this is a very cool piece of technology and you want everybody to experience it, right? So with this, you can, you can have people experience your Apple Vision Pro, and more importantly, you can select which apps you, you want them to see so you can control the narrative, right? So example, if you have an X account and it's kind of janky and scumbaggy, you might not want to let them have access to your, to your X account because it's going to log in and it's going to expose you the scumbag that you are <laughs> if you're in that life so just use that as an example or if you get any type of crazy pics obviously you don't want to put that on there so you want to go ahead and select certain apps that you will allow your guests to view inside the apple vision pro as a guest user very powerful and this this was actually updated what f well after the apple vision pro 2024 just came out so before, like you would have to go and do the whole, the whole eye scanning and the the pinching and then testing and just just everything. Every person that will jump into the Apple Vision Pro, they would have to do the initial phase. So with guest users, they can just pop it on, whole another profile, and they can go ahead and test out their product. So guest user, what is a welcoming addition for sure. Another thing I want to talk about is window sharing. So window sharing is pretty much the same thing. If you if you own an Apple device, window sharing is is letting letting people you know share share the windows or via SharePlay. It's the same thing as you would see on your iPhone or any other Apple device. It's just a Vision Pro's version of it. And also you have focus mode. So with this, I should actually put this on. But with, but with focus mode, this will eliminate any type of notifications like from your like ex or social media their phone calls or your your messages whatever right whatever notifications that you get it would actually you can actually pause it so if you again if you're an apple person you know what focus mode is this is just the vision pro's version of it and lastly we have travel mode so with travel mode right if you're on a train or a plane or anything that's moving this will actually stabilize your apps because if you don't put travel mode on, as soon as the vehicle takes off and you have your apps, let's say right here, they would just immediately just come off the screen and they're gone. And it's really hard to get them back. This right here, turning this on, will actually keep each app stabilized even though while you're in motion. 
So I actually plan on using this when I actually plan on, on making a video of me taking a walk outside with the Apple Vision Pro. Definitely stay tuned for that. That's coming. So travel mode is just keeping everything stabilized while you're in motion. The whole record my view. Yeah, actually, let, let's go ahead and let's see if I can do this. Yeah, perfect. So this right here, record my view. So one sinister thing Apple does, right? Every time I have to record, I have to go into this, this particular menu right here. The reason being is for this right here, the microphone. If I just hit record and start talking, I can go and talk and talk and talk and talk and the microphone won't turn on. So if any of you guys was wondering how to actually record or how to record the sound, this is how you do it. You just, all you have to do is just pinch, long pinch, record my view, and it will come up with this menu and turn on the microphone. The microphone is off by default. Apple, why would you do that? That is sinister. That's crazy work. So make sure you turn on the microphone because I would hate to see folks, you know, go and, and record for a long period of time and you can't hear nothing. And you're going and racking your brain trying to figure out why <laughs> you can't have any audio. Your microphone's off. Turn it on and check every time before you do your your videos. Sinister, Apple. Very sinister. But that's pretty much it. That will wrap up the video. I just want to go and just give a, a explanation on the control panel. It's a very welcoming addition. Before you would have to do, well, before in the early days, you would have to look up. You see that green dot? And that's how you would access the control panel. It was kind of, it was kind of jank. But ever since the updates, uh, it was just able to, to make it so much easier. You just look at it, flip over, and then pinch, and then boom, you got your control panel. So it's quite nice. It's a welcoming addition. I love it. And yeah, that's about it. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Make sure you tell the like button that you love him. And then caress his back ever so slowly. This is Vision Play XR signing off. Peace.